The weeks leading up to Labor Day weekend, 1921, must have been quite the roller coaster for Roscoe Fatty Arbuckle. The comic icon had only just extended his million dollar a year contract with Paramount Pictures. A contract which gave him creative and directorial control over his own movies. His humble beginnings nine years ago had to seem a lifetime ago. He first signed up to Keystone Studios for three dollars a day, around half the wage of an average unionized man at the time. Rewind further to Roscoe's 12-year-old self. Things were considerably more dire. Sent to live with his abusive drunkard of a father, after his mother suddenly passed on, he found his dad had already moved on to the next town. Stuck at a hotel in a strange town, the youngster took any work he could. This included singing for his keep, before dear old dad showed up to collect him a year later. From singing for your supper to seven figures a year was quite the rise for the young comic. Of course, he put in the long hours in order to make that big money. With his latest film, Crazy to Marry, out in cinemas, his friend, the actor-director Fred Fishback, booked a couple of rooms at the St. Francis Hotel in San Francisco to celebrate. Plans were afoot for a much-needed, absolutely booze-soaked getaway. 